Ah yes, makeup storage, a problem that we all face. I've decided that owning multiple eyeshadow palettes is a mistake, and I should just combine them all into one with the colors I like. And there's actually a product out there to solve this problem. Uh, it's called C Palette, and it's basically just a magnetic eyeshadow palette. So today I'm gonna make my own because of course I am. For this product I use a magnetic sticky sheet, a four diameter by two millimeter thick round magnets, a thin clear acrylic sheet, and a 3D printer. The first step was designing a box to act as my new palette. I started off by following this tutorial by Product Design Online uh, to make a hinge box. It was super helpful. Once I had the basics, filling around the size and thickness of the box was pretty easy. I added a place for the closure magnets, then I created a design for the front of the box by finding a black and white pattern I liked online, converting it to an SVG, and then extruding that onto the top of the palette. Oh, you know what? I'm dumb. This isn't gonna work. Well, and we had something like this. So imagine my dismay when I designed all this and I put it in my slicer and I realized it was too big for my printer. Maybe this is a controversial, but I decided just to cut it in the back and glue it back together. She is ready. Incredible. Wow! The next step is to remove your eyeshadows from their original home. So I only recently found the joys of eyeshadow. So these are the only two palettes I have. I'm gonna try and depot these. And this one's clearly glued in pretty good. But when I went to go look at this one, it's literally... <laughs> it's already magnetized in there! I felt really dumb. So these are gonna be super easy to remove and then this is gonna probably take more effort. It's wiggling, it's wiggling. Ah, I almost came up, come on. Yes. Oh, sweet success. The problem I did discover is that while these are designed to be attached to a magnetic sheet, um, these pants aren't magnetic at all. Um, it seems like the way people solve this online is just adding a magnet to the back of this, so I'll have to go source that later. But then we're gonna continue removing all these pants. I'm just gonna say, I, if you do this, you're probably gonna damage your eyeshadows. Update. So I glued this all together and put in the magnets and it works. I know you're wondering, Claire, why did you leave this grid in it? Um, it's gonna have a bunch of holes and that's because I have some clear acrylic to put in here. I don't know what my neighbor is doing, but he keeps throwing out a bunch of really good craft supplies, so. Okay, so we got that in. Let's do the magnet next. Hey! Look at this. Incredible. There's like, well, there's a layer of dust everywhere now, but look at it. This way more efficient. And honestly, I like it so much. And I had like leftover eyeshadows that I needed to save somewhere. Um, so I made another one. <laughs> This is my first one. It's pretty good. Opens with magnets. You can see everything inside. This is my second one. You can see the glittery filament is a far improvement. Um, same magnet technology. I like this design a lot better, honestly. Um, you can see there's a seam on the back of both of these. No one's gonna notice. I don't really care. This is a really mundane problem to solve, but I had fun and I think they're very cute, and that's all that really matters. If you have a 3D printer, or you know someone has a 3D printer, I list the files below if you want to print your own. I also had to find a way to work this in, but uh, I 3D printed a case for my beauty blender, and I, I thought that was really funny.